This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job today in Jamestown, so let's take a look at what we got going on here. So this customer called me back in November, back before my YouTube channel blew up, and he wanted... So first of all, what happens here is this gutter here and the driveway. Basically, you get a, just a huge pond right here. And we had a tiny little sprinkle this morning, and you can see that the, the water holds right here, and then it just builds up. Check out this video that the homeowner sent me. Here you can see that corner of the driveway, and it's just completely underwater there. If you look up the hill here, you can see one of the major components here is the downspout from the neighbor. So that's adding quite a bit of water to this area as well. And the point is, once the water gets to that area around the driveway, and here's a good look at it, now that the tree right there, that has been removed. So you'll see that. And then look at the trash cans there, that's another good landmark for you. You see all the water under the trash cans? All this water is hanging up against the house, up against the crawl space. And that's why the homeowner called me. And so, here you can see that there's a little bit of a swale already in the land and so we're going to dig that swale out and throw it up against the foundation here you can see how green it is under that foundation vent well and that's just standing water right there up against the crawl and so he had talked to me about trying to do a pipe across here in a french drain the problem with that let's take a look If we did anything with a pipe, there is nowhere to discharge the pipe. So I basically told the homeowner, you know, I said, I don't feel comfortable having a pipe come out somewhere right here and just like, boom, aiming at the neighbors. And so instead of a pipe, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing just basically following this little swale. So take a look. We've already got this little swale right here and we're just going to continue it out to the driveway. A couple things since I've been, since I was here in November, he had a tree right here that was taken out and either when they ground the stump or when they took the tree out they cut the North State, the uh, internet line. And so the homeowner luckily had the foresight to take this temporary line and tell North State, don't bury it yet because I've got more work going on. So this line here is the old one. That one's not in usage. This red is, is power. That's gonna be real deep. So all we're gonna do here, we're gonna scalp this down a little bit and then hook on to our existing swale. So that's what we're working on on this side. Now the customer did contact me back and asked me to extend out. So he did have some corrugated pipes across here. That's them right there. And what's been happening, you can you can kind of see, is all his mulch just washes away. And so we're just going to extend the pipe to right here where it used to extend to. And so they talk to the neighbor, there, there's no problem there. So just this, we're going to end it right here. And again, we're kind of going toward the neighbor, but it's not quite as bad as having a whole huge driveway. And a big French drain and other pipes. So that's what we're working on today. I'm getting this fiber optics line out of the way. So a good rule of thumb is don't cut the customer's internet lines. When stump grinders come through and grind away the stump, they basically leave all the wood chips from the ground up stump there. And so the first order of business here is to get rid of the wood chips because we need ground, we need dirt here to be able to work on our swale. And so 
I'm just gonna get these wood chips out of here and into the back of the dump truck. So that's why I brought the dump truck over here today. All right, so this job is changing a little bit. Because he took this tree out, we want to move the swale over a little bit. And we've got some more roots right here. I just been, I've been chewing on this for a while, I can't get it. And he's got where the stump grinder came out. This is all uneven right here. And I've got a lot of sod mixed with dirt, mixed with roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this right here and I'm gonna go home and get my mini excavator with the root hook to pull these out and I'm gonna get my Harley rake. So I'll be able to smooth all this out and it's just gonna be a much better job. So let me get that done real quickly and I'll dump this real quick, go home and get that those other machines and I'll be right back over here. Smile, you are on Sean Camp. We are finished with this job. So we got our swale cut. It was quite tricky to get a continuous fall across there because it's pretty flat right here. But the main thing is this water now has a place to escape to. So we should be in really good shape. We brought some of the dirt over here and, and feathered out where this stump was. Got these, the wood chips 
taken up and out of there because they'll just decay and cave in. So the homeowner's pretty happy. We should be in really good shape. We're just getting loaded up over here. And I wanted to show you the other side before we got too far here. So we caught these two gutters here. And we just took it right down to here. So there's our outfall. The homeowner wanted us to put some riprap around there to, to try to protect it and whatnot. So that should be good. This neighbor was fine with this discharging here it's further far enough away from the house again we didn't want to discharge behind because it was aiming right at the house so I'd say we're in pretty good shape ready for rain we got everything seeded and strawed and the homeowner asked us to seed and straw where we added that dirt in there up against the house and I can't remember if I showed you or not, but we added some more dirt around here as well. Right along there. So he asked us to do that as well. So we got that done. This is Sean. It's been a couple of months since we were here last and we just had a really, really big rainstorm. So I wanted to come over here and see how this swale we did was doing. So you can see there's no more standing water here and the water is pretty much heading on down the way. Now there is a little bit of standing water along here because this swale was really really tricky but it looks like we're going down on through here and the homeowner is really happy with it too. So. I've been waiting a while to get back over here. This area is kind of deep right here. There's a little bit of deeper water and then it looks like it goes up a little bit right there. But we definitely got the water off the house. Let's take a look at the other outfall over here. So that one's flowing pretty well as well. All right, 